Not to say you're not gonna get stung by a billion what? mosquitoes in the process anyways. I don't know if you're actually gonna be saving time in the long run, but it makes for a good Instagram video. If you give me like a day, maybe I could make it to like 30 seconds. Yeah, you need to practice. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, dynamite intro, Mrs. Lush. Good Lord. Folks, we are gathered here today once again in the church of online video to watch and react. Shall we get started, sweetheart? According to the team, some of these are interesting. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Okay, I'm not very easy to please. The art student flies twice a week from Calgary to Vancouver, saving big bucks on rent. I need to pay like 2500 for the rent. I don't feel that as like, you know, viable. He pays roughly $150 per round trip flight twice a week, about 1200 per month total. That's half the average rent for a one bedroom in the city. I thought, um, why don't we just why don't I just stay at Calgary and then just fly here, like, you know, one hour flight. The whole framing of this is a sad world. The student from Canada gets to his studies by airplane to avoid rent. Yes, rent is high. And also, I know Canada is some of the worst real estate prices on the planet. Apparently, like Toronto oh. and stuff are so inflated and overpriced. That's the whole meme is everyone's overpriced out of houses and stuff like that. He's doing the yeah, economically viable. Okay. I guess if you're able to stack your classes to all be in one day. Yeah, yeah for right. Days. That does kind of suck. Like, I don't know. For me, the college experience experience is like, you want to be on a camp, whatever. I understand if you're like commuting by car, but to have to go to an airport twice a week just to fly to take classes, don't send me down the college rabbit hole right now. That's your decision, okay? I don't feel bad for you, put it that way. You decided to do that. Yes, rent is high, but there's a million other ways. They're also you... wasting hours a week going through security, waiting for your flight, yeah. flight gets delayed. And there's a million other ways to learn and get an education. So yes, rent is high, but I don't feel bad. I'm sorry. This is mosquito one of burgers? the most unpalatable foods in the world, mosquito burger. Each mosquito burger contains about 600,000 mosquitoes and is said to have seven times the nutritional value of a beef burger. During the rainy season in Africa, the mosquitoes around Lake Victoria are too numerous to count, about 2,000 mosquitoes per cubic meter of space. In order to deal with this long battle with mosquitoes, they ingeniously created this unique mosquito burger. Faced with frequent mosquito infestations, the locals are not happy with the frequent mosquito infestations. In order to make up for the lack of protein in their daily diet, they catch a large number of mosquitoes, then they press them into the shape of a burger and fry them in a pan. Although it looks very dark, but this mosquito burger is a unique and tasty dish when it's done. Tasty, uh, I'm gonna leave that up to being subjective. I would never even try it. This has come from necessity, this type of thing. Obviously, this is a part of the world where they don't have a lot of the luxuries we have, and there's 2,000 mosquitoes per square meter. So you make mosquito burgers, make the best of it. God bless. Don't mosquitoes like carry different diseases and stuff? Are you cooking it of course off they when do. you cook them? I would say mosquito-borne illness or mosquito-transferred illness is gonna have to be through the blood, right? That's typically mostly like they if you- Cook it, yeah, okay. like you can eat a mosquito, it's most of the time, I'm not gonna, your digestion yeah. crack's gonna kill whatever, yeah. Not to say you're not gonna get stung by a billion what? mosquitoes in the process anyways. <laughs> Leon, hear me out, the team says. Okay, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Come on. on, bro. It's just like slowly, I mean, honestly? There's a million things that could go wrong. Of course there are. But it's kind of genius. This person's very satisfied. <laughs> yeah, the person watching it loves it. It's working, dude. That's the funniest dude. thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Just slowly getting shorter each time it twines around. That was nuts. <laughs> this man right here, he's the genius. That is exactly what I expected him I to look wish, like. <laughs> I just really, he needs a beer in his I, I was gonna say, the fact he's not holding the cold Budweiser is just beyond repair. It's reprehensible. Get this man a beer. Somebody, please get this man a beer. The whole point of like mowing the lawn is to maybe have a drink while you're doing it, at least on the rider. So if you're gonna sit and watch it. Put the landscapers out of business. <laughs> You have to have a very special shaped lawn for that to be viable too. Sure. Most lawns that would not work. You would work for like a small portion of the middle of it, but think of how long it would take to set up too. Yeah. I don't know if you're actually gonna be saving time in the long run, but it makes for a good Instagram video. Did we see this on the channel once before? Do you remember this? I think I probably saw it on Twitter. This is an older,
So as a production nerd, I, I love watching shit like this, just kind of seeing what's going on behind the scenes to make a continuous shot in this manner. Jim Carrey's from The Truman Show, or? This has to be... The heck? How many times do you think they rehearsed this? I mean, yeah, it takes... But one little thing messes it up. Yes. Take 76. It's like total, like 50 people in all of this. Yeah, I mean, we get, and now there's someone doing yoga. I like it. I love stuff like that. I'm a big fan of continuous shots. That stuff, like as a viewer, you just watch it and like, you don't think twice. 99% of viewers, like if you saw that on Netflix, you would be like, wow, I want to win in the production of that. Never. I think about stuff like that sometimes. Of course. From someone who creates uh, unbelievably difficult scenes like this one. Put these chairs right here every week. Yeah, yeah. I slide this one away so I can do my own videos, uh -huh. slide it back. I make cuts every 10 seconds in the edit. <laughs> it's very difficult when I do edit. Love a good slow-mo IG video. Ooh. Yeah. Some people are so nice at this. They have like competitions for like soccer dribbling. Yeah. Where people can just keep it up and stall it for like hours at a time without it ever falling down. I don't think if you offer me a hundred thousand dollars, I could keep a ball off the ground with my feet for more than 10 seconds. Come on, dude. Okay. If you give me like a day, maybe I could make it to like 30 seconds. Yeah, you need to practice. 30 seconds, yeah. Ooh, the Assassin's Creed leap of faith in real life. As an OG Assassin's Creed fan, I'm interested. Oh my God. Dude, into the bail. That's crazy. I, I mean, like that, this comment. That is, to my luck, I'd land on the damn needle. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. I, I like, like that. Yeah, better than landing on your face, I guess. But I think that comment was more interesting to me than the video. Yeah, you didn't like the Assassin's Creed leap, even though you don't know what that is. It's all right. What's your job? Oh, I throw water on that guy. That's actually crazy. So he's just... That stuff is so hot that just being in proximity would burn you if you're not just constantly sopping with water. So you just have someone constantly throwing water at you all day. This comment had me in the first half. It says, these conditions are terrible. No man should work like this. It should be done by a child. <laughs> Good shit. That's funny. There's certain types of craftsmanship that can't be achieved. I shouldn't say that. Like machines should be able to do this by now, right? I don't know what the hell you're doing. I mean, they're using a machine, but I, I don't either. Something that has to do with metal that's hot enough to mold, I'm sure. I have no idea. Sink it, bud. Come on, oh, dude. Man. That's awesome. Oh my! Already low probability chance you can recreate that. Probably less never. than less than never. the lottery. Never, never. I would guess. Love stuff like that. You know the dude, perfect. Obviously, just from like Jackson and stuff. They're like one of the biggest YouTube brands ever. Some of the trick shot videos they've done over the years are like one in a million type stuff. One of my favorite ones, one they were throwing a basketball off of a dam one time. It was like 60 stories, mm -hmm. and you have to account for like the wind drift of the ball and it's falling like 20 stories into a basketball hoop. Fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Totally off topic, but that made me think of Dude Perfect. Or Jackson would like him. Does he even why he knows who they are? I don't think he's watched a Dude Perfect video. You know what he likes is how ridiculous all the car dropping shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. That Australia, those are, there's an Australian channel where they just like go on this huge tower and like drop stuff from high, Dad, high stuff. Dad, can we watch the drop videos? Yeah, I wanna watch drop videos, Dad. They're actually pretty decent and the guys seem nice and they're somewhat informative. It's age appropriate. Anything's better than actual mind numbing children's yeah, content. I'd yeah, I'd say it's fine. And that shit makes me like that. Children's content is meant to be like harmless for kids. So it's like dumbed down and stupid. And I feel like that's more damaging than actually just showing them like appropriate, cool stuff in like a Mark Rober video or like a How Ridiculous video where it's like people actually, they're acting normal instead of some weird animation doing dumb shit. With the exception of Bluey, which is the best show on the planet. That's a show though. YouTube, media kids day. YouTube content Bluey is, is sketchy, sketchy as f The power of a fire hose. These things actually are not stupid. Holy smokies. The PSI on these. Oh, imagine. Holy f <laughs> Where are you shooting? Look at that, dude. That must be so fun. 
Yeah. It's in a it's harness. Of, yeah, okay. it's definitely on a harness of some sort. Because if you're holding that shit, you got a brace. That's like some yeah. serious pressure to tend with. You've seen, maybe not in this country, but in, in videos over the years from riots around the world, you see those trucks that have big fire hoses on them as a way to like break up riots and stuff. Mm. On that same note, it's so crazy to me, like water pressure, like water cutters are oh, one of the yeah. most fascinating yeah. things on the planet. It can like cut through diamond. It's like one of the few things and it's just pressurized water can be one of the sharpest things on the planet. Thousand pound bluefin tuna landed solo. But, oh, I saw this video. This is crazy. Come How on. did she get that up on the boat? Well, she must have like a rig. But she's, is she solo? Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that dude. Guys behind her are like, let's go. Big tuna. There's hey. an office meme. <laughs> you know I love a good office meme. There's an office reference for everything. You're damn Actually, right there is. Actually, yes. Exactly. That's going to be some kind of That's record. I, I don't know how you reel that in. You must have an outrageously strong fishing pole. Like that little no, thing I right there? I don't understand how Thousand it pound tuna? What? Like there's got to be something like... Yeah, you can see it's like a, attached to something that's hanging above the ship. So she must be like on a pretty serious shipping vessel. Mm -hmm. What do you do with that thing? Filet it and fast food it if you want to. Sh Roger, I don't... Sorry. What? Ace, Ace Ventura quotes shot on my head. Find that fish or find new jobs. Oh, righty then. The sea Lion US video Navy games. The is teaching sea lions to play video games, oh which God, means Jackson that it's jealous. somebody's actual job to develop video games for Navy sea lions. And now they've even developed multiplayer games so that they can play against their caretakers. But it's not because they're trying to build an aquatic esports team. Through their marine <laughs> mammal program, the Navy trains sea lions to attach recovery lines to Navy equipment on the ocean floor. They work and train in the open ocean every day and they're free it's to swim away if sweet. they'd like to but over several decades that's only happened a couple times and that's because they seem to really enjoy their situation in the marine mammal program in addition to protection from predators bro if you're a sea lion and you're in the small percentage that gets selected to be able to play video games are you kidding me you better me? take that opportunity yeah you better it. take that opportunity probably not long before we start seeing sea lions on twitch to be honest streaming naval deep sea diving games I think this is great. These sea lions are living large, dude. Eating all the mackerel they can get, playing video games as a sea lion. Hopefully not too much screen time, though. We don't want it to ruin their social life. Probably in Discord making 9-11 jokes. Just that guaranteed food. That's what I was thinking. They must get. Yeah. And the video games are just That's probably just enough to motivate them. And mental stimulation. The video yeah. games also help us learn about how these marine mammals think and solve problems. And it turns out that the sea lions, like this avid gamer named Spike, love the video games so much. He's even got a name like Spike. This dude's a Twitch sensation. Just get a camera on him. That they'll come back to play again and again, whether or not they're being rewarded with fresh fish. So far, Spike and his friends have been able to work through mazes and collect moving objects using the navigation buttons. And many of them, like Spike, even do a little happy dance when they complete a level. I'm Shut Jen and up. I post something Shut positive up. every day. Thank you, Jen, for that positive sea lion video game post. The happy dance when they I'm obsessed. solve a puzzle. I'd, Are you kidding me? I do the same thing when I beat a level in Mario 3. Ar, ar, ar. Inside an ice cave, this shit is always wild. Wow. That's terrifying, honestly. Dude the classic Instagram song for like this real this probably has that's like that's insane that that's scary that definitely has like 78 million views on Instagram reels but do you think that scares the shit out of you no not as much as like one of the like an underwater cavern people that go like spelunking in the real like hard to that shit drives me nuts this one is a little less scary to me Hmm. Looks cool. It feels less claustrophobic, it and it's also, it's also, no. it's also oh, it more very lit. Claustrophobic. Have you ever seen the spelunking videos where the dudes have like not. it's just like a headlamp with a GoPro, and they're like in these twisty caverns underground that like goes into water and out, and they're like shimmying in like this. Uh, it's no, the, no, yeah, no, no, dude, no. it's it's nightmare fuel. That just looks pretty. How nails are arranged for boxing? What does that even mean? Oh, I thought it meant like boxing the sport. This is for boxing nails. Yeah, okay, you can see that. So they weigh it and then they sort it and pump them in. That's pretty cool. I'm sure there's at certain levels of industry that's all automated by a machine, I would imagine. What fucking human is sorting nails right now? That's what, what are we talking about? They want them all facing the same way, though. Yeah, but there's definitely a machine that can do that. Well, he just put it with like a, it must have been a magnet or something, I guess. There is definitely a machine, Mrs. Lush, that can do that. Okay. Hey, you want to go fishing for jellyfish? No. Why would you want to fish for jellyfish? Uh. Ah. I didn't know that was just all jellyfish. WTF. I don't know, dude. This is in like India. It's probably like some sort of delicacy we don't know about. Uh, what? Yeah. I can just see someone in the comments on Instagram like, that's terrible conditions for a jellyfish to live in. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, they about to get chopped up and served, filleted and fast fooded. But 
That's a lot of mother jellyfish. It is. I don't know why they're doing this. I have no idea. I, I need don't... to know. Go to the comments. Oh, well, that tracks fire, though. That is just... How many times do you get zapped? Barefoot is an interesting choice of <laughs> footwear when stepping around jellyfish. I thought it was a stone floor for a second until he flipped another jellyfish in there. I was the same way. Yes. I thought he threw it in there. I was like, oh, that's all jellyfish. They eat them in Asian countries. I didn't care for it. It tasted like nothing. It had the texture of a combination of a chilled silicone rubber and like a celery or something. I found the taste to be bland and the texture to be off-putting. To me, that feels like they're farming them huh. to sell them as opposed to like trying to depopulate an area that's being used for something. I guess they eat them, like they said in some places in Asia. Ew. And they don't taste good, allegedly. Modern seedless banana versus pre-domesticated banana. Come on. So this, like the modern day banana as you know it is a result of just us engineering it that okay. way. Whatever they do in the labs to grow it without seeds and blah, blah, blah. This is like a real pre-modernized banana. Would you banana. eat the seeds or are they I mean, like the kind of seeds that you don't eat? There's I don't, a lot of food I don't know, but I do wonder it if like- It looks like chocolate chips. I, I know, it kind of looks tasty. Delicious, like it, a banana it's, chocolate it's, it's chip a, something it's a, other. it's a blueberry stuffed banana. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to make chocolate chip banana bread. Actually, a, a blueberry and a banana had <laughs> and created a blueberry stuffed banana, and it Perfect. looks delicious. Or maybe it's like a boba tea banana. I would eat the f out of that, though. I'm just curious what the seeds taste like, if they're palatable or not. Yeah, or like chewy or what. I bet you they're hard to find. Like, I I watched some Obviously, weird... Obviously, if I didn't even know they existed. Yeah, yeah, what? yeah. I don't really trust many Netflix documentaries, but I watched one that seemed cool, and it was about... They did one on, like, the avocado trade, and then bananas and stuff. And mm -hmm. if you follow the history of the homogenization... Homogenization... Homogenize... Homogen... Homogenize... This is so good. Homogenization. Thank you. Holy <laughs> shit. My brain just sh its pants completely. I gotta clean up on aisle six, please. My brain just pooped all over the floor. Shit on the floor. It's very interesting what's gone on in the banana trade in the last hundred years. I don't know why. Sorry. Like, I love this. They're so I'm ubiquitous just now. There's just like bananas are so ubiquitous. You're just like, oh, banana, delicious. Yeah. Peel and eat. It's easy. But like, that shit didn't exist like 100 years ago the way it does now. Crazy. Avocados are the same. There's some crazy fucking cartel shit going on over the avocado trade. Really? Oh, my that God. Why they're so expensive. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. It's nuts, dude. People get murdered and shit to like own the avocado you know lands. how much avocados are? I don't even want to know, but that's been a meme forever. The guacamole meme. Like, oh, you had guac, it's $3. Yeah, because oh, yeah. motherfuckers are getting killed for that avocado production. Oh. Anyways, I did not know that. I'm kind of spitballing and speculating off of very limited information that I saw. I'm sure they grow them in California too, but the demand for avocados got so crazy in like the 90s and 2000s that to, to try and meet that demand, some real crazy shit happened because obviously there was a lot of money to be made. That's all the interesting uh, things I can take for today. Sure. I appreciate you guys watching with us and I hope that you do your research on your avocado and banana consumption because if you're not careful, you're gonna eat a chocolate chip stuffed banana and not even know it. Oh, this is Lush. Thanks you for being here. I'm impartial about it, but I'll see you in the next video either way. Thank you. Bye. Peace.